a note on the excellent film Rabbit Proof Fence. This is a very significant drama, a wonderful film. Uh, if uh, sad uh, from beginning to <laughs> middle, let's say not if not end, um, because it tells the story of uh, of Aborigines, especially three of them involved in in uh, or Earth center stage in this uh, powerful motion picture. Um, uh, in, in, at the beginning of the 20th century in Australia, uh, the policy was not just racist, but really abusive and amounted to uh, little less than torture, maybe even even torture in, in some cases. And um, the idea is that they appointed they have appointed a chief protector of Aborigines. Uh, who uh, did nothing of the sort? He didn't protect the Aborigines. In la in instead, he had uh, he was a bureaucrat in, in, with a lot of power. He had papers on which he needed to sign, and he would say this one because he thinks his light skin will go to this family. This will go to this place. They will send most of them to work as. Um, not exactly slaves, but it indentured servitude was the name. So, um, not free men, but um, moved around by the state through this uh, man. Uh, at one point, he's, he's presenting to an audience his conception, uh, ideas of uh, eugenics and um, nearly na Nazi uh, thinking. Uh, there was, uh, look, this is uh, the grandmother. Uh, an Aborigine, and this is the daughter, and the daughter was lighter skinned, and you see the daughter has children, and then this this child is already uh, white looking. You don't see the uh, Aborigine features, and we can say that we we took we took uh, took that out, and that's good. Uh, that was his his idea. And if only they knew what we, what we want to do for them, uh, that was if not a mantra. He he said this or words to that effect. That that was the idea. That they, what they do is good because they just need to transform Aborigines, uh, half caste, in fact, into white people somehow through descendants or education. Anyway, uh, we have three children. Molly Craig, Daisy Craig, and Gracie Kenneth, and they're taken to this special uh, institution, which was uh, supposed to tra retrain and to educate them to to work as servants uh, after that, or, or in uh, sewing machines. Uh, in there, they 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 weren't paid for what they did, and it's extraordinary how these three children, led by Molly, she was the uh, oldest but only something like 12 years old I think and they travel for more than a thousand miles to go home that is they escape at one point and even if they have the police after them uh, and especially a tracker there was, there's a very good Aborigine tracker who can get people back he, he, he in fact he caught all the escapees that had tried before uh, he doesn't he doesn't catch those, uh, and they travel through desert. They're attacked. They have. They don't have food to eat. They're helped by a white man, but then they're betrayed by someone who is I don't know uh, if Aborigine, but anyway half caste. In any case, and Gracie Kenneth is caught at the railway station. She wants to go to her mother and wants to take the train. It, it is. Uh, you can imagine, like a ditch, an extremely, an extremely tough journey. Uh, in fact, Molly has to take Daisy, who's like five, I think, uh, on her back uh, for distances. Uh -huh. And the book on which the film is based was written by the daughter of Molly Craig. An exceptional uh, adventure. 
only based on a real story and indeed a powerful drama which has not ended uh, in fact it was only in uh, around 1970 that Australia ended this uh, criminal abusive uh, inhumane policy and I think uh, one of the commentary has it that uh, families uh, families aborigine families still suffer uh, the consequences of of this and um, indeed the powerful uh, the film makes a powerful point and is um, it is one of the best films well we can see